Hi, this is going to be part one of four of my Japan haul. I just got back from a very quick trip to Japan. It was quick for several reasons, but one of them was that it was the first time that I left my son Henry without me. And it was fine, by the way. He has an amazing dad. And also he has some very cool grandmas. <laughs> Uh, and a cool grandpa. So um, he had no problem with me being gone, but because it was my first time, I only planned to be gone for about five days, which is really quick turnaround to go from the US to Japan. But I also just had a couple of very like distinct goals. I needed to scope out some stationery shops while I was there because we are opening a retail shop in Fairfield, Iowa which is probably far away from wherever you are, but if you're ever in the Midwest, um, or I should be more specific, if you're ever in Iowa, <laughs> or near us in Illinois or Missouri or something like that, um, we'd love it if you uh, came to visit. We're opening later this summer, but I wanted to, you know, I, when people walk into my store, I really want them to feel like they are, are in one of these wonderful stationery shops in Japan that I love so much. So I was trying to get ideas in terms of Kind of how to set up our shop it's being painted right now and it's a beautiful but i was just like taking a lot of pictures and trying to get that stuff ready all on a budget of course <laughs> i was also looking for new items to merchandise new companies to work with i always like to see if there are any limited edition goods while i'm there and so i'm making f four videos and each video is gonna contain some new pen stuff that we will be getting up on our shop. And also just some, just giving you an idea of some of the other types of things that I like to buy while I'm in Japan. Because I notice on Instagram when I show, you know, non-stationary stuff, but just cute little things I buy in Japan that people usually like that. So I wanted to share that with you. And actually, other people encouraged me to share it with you. I wasn't sure that you'd really care, but <laughs> here goes. All right, why don't I talk first about this case? So this is really meant to be a cosmetics case, I believe, or like a carry-all for your purse. And it, I really like it. It's a Liberty Arts print. It is one of those kind of like a coated fabric. So it's really soft and very uh, fine. But, so it's not one of the like thick, shiny coated fabrics, but it's one of the soft coated fabrics, if that makes sense. So if you spill something on it, it'd be easy to wipe off. But I thought it was really pretty. It's basically, the print is like a what's in my bag print. And you can see um, there are actually some things in here that I really love, like pens and notebooks. And so I thought it was really cool. So I bought this and then I would, the pens that I was buying for myself while I was in Japan, I was putting in here along with aspirin <laughs> and other funny things. So I just kind of wanted to show that I think I paid about 20 US dollars for this. And let me show you uh, closely the label because I think people might, I don't know where you'd find it. I got it at like a Mitsukoshi department store, I think, but the company's intermode using Liberty Art fabrics. Liberty Art fabrics are really popular right now. There's a in Japan, anyway. There's a Uniqlo collaboration with Liberty Arts. And I always thought it was called Liberty of London, but maybe it uses both names. Anyway, okay, so that's kind of that. As far as like non, I mean, I use it as a stationary item, but as far as like non uh, pen stuff goes. I, I have been really wanting this, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This is my first Kaweco, but my Kaweco Sport Mint fountain pen here. I ended up getting it in a medium nib, which I kind of regret, but I need to clean it off. Anyway, so one thing that I thought was really cool about this is the, I, I actually got it from the Traveler's Factory at Narita Airport. And they told me I didn't that I could use the J Urban cartridges, which I have a ton of these because I always like the colors. 
but I'm not really a huge fan of the, the pen that goes with these. And you can see, so this is the Kaweco Blue Black cartridge that came with it, and it's, you know, the same size. I think this might be called International Short, but I'm sure a fountain pen person will correct me below. Comments about this pen. I am not sure if it's because I'm using these cartridges or what, but there is so much skipping. So I don't know if I'm if I just don't have the ink flow going well into the nib or or what. But I haven't really oh, I haven't fallen in love with this pen yet. I mean like physically I think it's amazing and gorgeous and I love it but as far as like wanting to write with it I get really frustrated because it's so skippy so what I need to do is clean it out and then I'm gonna try using the cartridge it came with and see if there's any difference but anyway that's that let me put it in here I think this might be an expired color because they didn't have it out on display and I just asked them there at the Traveler's Factory, do you have any mint? Because when I was there six months previously, they did have it out and I regretted not buying it. And she had two left. So that's what makes me think it's an expired color. Expired, is that the right word? Discontinued color? <laughs> okay, why don't we talk about uni style fits now? So there are a lot of new limited edition uni style fits right now. We will be having some of these in the store so by the time i put this video up if we've got our inventory launched of them i will you know have the links below and and i plan to time it like that so that you don't get excited and then not be able to buy them but okay so let me start with the auto mizumori or more appropriate probably mizumori auto so she so she's kind of cool because she's a japanese illustrator I think she was really popular between like the 60s and 80s and she's kind of uh, making a comeback right now she's interesting because for one thing she really helps set the move like like the kawaii movements kind of like set the aesthetic of that the stuff that we think of as kawaii or you know cute japanese stuff she really is a part of that movement going back so I hope you're getting an idea of her like illustrations here. This is like a three color uni style fit. This is a five color uni style fit. So not only was she an illustrator, but she also was a singer and an actress. And actually you can search for her on YouTube. And I recommend <laughs> searching a song called, I think it's called Please Don't Talk About Me. And really it sounds like Betty Boop. <laughs> So it's kind of fun. And I believe I read somewhere that she would illustrate while she sang. I don't know how true that is or if that was like if she always sang while she was making her illustrations or what. But that was just one of those like little tidbits I read about her at some point. Let's see, what else do I want to say about this? Besides, there are two illustrations available in the three color and then two other illustrations available in the five color. One thing I should point out is pastels are really popular right now. I posted an Instagram kind of showing one of the pastel displays in the Japanese stationery stores while I was there and um, it's so trendy right now and I'm excited about it because I love pastels. These are definitely following that pastel theme too. I suppose I should mention for people who aren't already familiar with the uni style fit, it's a customizable multi-pen, so you pick your own ink colors and tip sizes, and you buy them separately and insert them in your in your barrels. So moving on to this new Sanrio Uni Style Fits, we have here some new new three colors. There's a Hello Kitty with light pink. There's some bows and hearts on there too. And then there is a white little twin stars that's really cute. Kind of like the little, these look better probably with the label off, but the little twin stars um, 
behind, <laughs> behind, they're behind, <laughs> I don't know. And then this one I think is really pretty, this color, which really is a light blue, but I almost call it like a purple blue. I just think it's really pretty. This is also little twin stars. Why don't I take this wrapper off so that you can see it? I want to do it justice here. There we go. You guys are going to really freak out when you see one of the new five color Little Twin Stars. Little Twin Stars was my favorite Sanrio when I was growing up. It was not Hello Kitty. There is a fun fact for you. <laughs> okay, so here are the new five color Little Twin Stars. So we've got little twin stars with this like lighter purple barrel or it's like a purple pink barrel. Kind of looks like a traditional little twin stars. And we've got, I'm gonna save the best for last. And we've got this Hello Kitty. This I would call like a sketch Hello Kitty, if that makes sense. If you look really closely, you can see her face is, you can see some really faint lines if I zoom in. See that? I think that that's meant to be like, you know when they make sketches? And in this, I think they were sort of centering her face. So this, and then you can see it on the bear too. So I would call this like sketch Hello Kitty. I mean, they're calling it Hello Kitty White, but anyway, I hope what I'm saying is making sense there. Okay, so best for last. This, my friends, is the unicorn, literally. This is Little Twin Stars, unicorn. Unicorn, it's very cool, five colors. If you're interested in the unicorn, I would recommend purchasing it as quickly as possible you know, we always, when we have limited editions, we always end up with a limited number, and sometimes we do get restocked, but it's very unlikely. And then it's very hard for me to keep track of who wants restock when they come. And so, so I mean, I really recommend, like, if you want it and it's available, go ahead and grab it. Okay, so moving on. Well, actually, I have a little, couple more unistyle fits. So these I thought were cool because usually our unistyle fits are so cutesy or they're like part of that whole kawaii culture. And these to me are, you know, not cutesy. So I felt like they're more appropriate for people who want something that looks not cutesy for the unistyle fit, but want something, you know, more limited edition and out of the ordinary. So, and these are both five colors. And this color they're calling gradation yellow, and this one's gradation blue. Okay, so those are our new upcoming uni style fits for now. Let me talk about another pen. I'm pretty excited about this pen. This pen comes from a company you might have heard of it called uh, Kakimori, and they have a little shop ink stand by Kakimori. And the shop is a place that you can mix your own custom ink and then put it into this a ballpoint pen. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> I was so excited to see it, but it is closed until the fall. So I'll have to wait until, you know, my next trip to Japan. But they still sold the pen, which I was still excited by because it has the same, you know, you can use it in the same way. You haven't mixed your own ink, but I use the Iroshizuku ink because it comes, I think we have like, well, now we have all the colors of it. Okay, so it has a fountain pen style converter. In Japan, they call this a twist converter. I believe it's called a piston converter in the US, but don't worry if I'm wrong, the fountain pen people will love correcting me in the comments below. All right, so the ink that I decided to use first in this actually was not one of my Ido Shizuku inks. <laughs> I had recently gotten this, I had recently purchased this violet ink that's supposed to be scented like violet. 
and I love the smell of violets, so I was excited. Plus, I thought, oh, maybe it'll be a really pretty shade of purple, and it was really disappointing because, like, if I bring the bottle up to my nose, it does, um, I do somewhat smell violets, but if you're writing with it, you don't smell the violets, and it's not like leaving the violet scent on the paper, in my opinion. I just had to re film this because I had a camera problem. So here's the swatching that I just did. Let me smell. Yeah, no, it does not smell like violets at all. And if you ask me, it's just a regular purple. I mean, it's not any more special than like Pilot's purple. So I would say skip getting this, to be honest. Okay, if you are in Tokyo, please consider going to Kakimori and in one of the, in parts two, three, or four of these this video series, I'll show you the notebook I had made at Kakimori, but with a pen. I think it's worth it, it's worth having. There are definitely things that I would maybe change about it, but I didn't design it. If you want to visit Kakimori, the, they said because of procurement issues, the, the ink, isn't available right now that's why the ink stand part is closed down but you know please just google it don't email me because there's all the information you need is on the internet okay <laughs> all right i just want to talk about this is along the lines of like pastels and and uh stuff like that being popular but i got this artnik stamp pad which seems to be japanese it's made in japan it's all japanese on it the color is called misty mauve and it is amazing i love it so much so let me just show you by the way someone told me to use baby wipes to clean my stamps one of my amazing subscribers who looks out for me by commenting on my videos <laughs> She told me to use baby wipes and it was like one of the best tips I've ever received because now I do that and it's awesome. Okay, so hopefully I have this. Okay, so now I can show you. But I don't have a baby wipe within grab, so I'll have to clean it later. Don't worry. Okay. So yeah, this is Misty Mauve. This. And I love it. Okay, now let's sample, why don't we sample polar blue? Cause that's pretty too. These are little stamps. I got little schedule stamps. If you guys want me to carry this kind of stuff, let me know. Because this is one of the things I'm thinking about merchandising on the store. These are Kodomo no Kao. This one is Fuji. And there's that swatch. Sorry, I keep having to focus. I don't want to give you guys a headache. That's cool, right? I mean, I just love the colors. They're like, um, you know, more so than pastels, maybe I would call them gray pastels. And then just for the heck of it, why don't we sample this old rose color? Why don't I do cherries? Oops, I got a little bit too much of the ink on there, but you can get an idea. So, all right, I'm gonna set these aside so I can wash them with my baby wipe, since that is the cool, awesome new way And then you can see some of the other shapes I got in this little carrying case. Again, this brand is called Kodomo no Kao, and I'm considering having it on the store. All right, let me show you just a couple more things I bought in Japan. These are kind of like non-stationary items, so I guess if that's not your thing, you could just leave the video now. <laughs> but I got this uh, food, uh, I think this is, how do you say uh, wind chime in Japan? Is it like Fusen? Fusen, I think, Fusen. Um, Anyway, you get the idea. I'm gonna put it out on my <laughs> on my terrace, and it's gonna be awesome. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is really that interesting, like the weird things people buy when they're traveling. But I'd always wanted one of these uh, little wind chimes, and it's kind of a seasonal item. So since it's summer, the Japanese stores have them everywhere. Okay, and finally, I got a a book called Truck Toraku <laughs> for my son because he's obsessed with trucks, and I did not encourage this behavior. I swear but it's just, just the way it is. So this book is all about trucks, how they go, um, and what they do, the kinds of jobs they have, who uses them. <laughs> so yeah, that's a book I got for my son. And do I want to show you anything else yet or save it for part two? I think we'll save it for part two, but do check out, if you're interested in those uni style fits, don't wait too long and let me know what you think of the stamp stuff and stuff like that. All right, I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye-bye.